If you are aiming for a minimalist, timeless style and you like to look bougie on a budget, then this video is for you. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're having a lovely day today. I have decided today to get in comfy clothes, it's raining outside, and I just wanted to have a lazy day watching YouTube. So that's exactly what I've done. However, it has just hit lunchtime, and I was like, you know what? I wanna sit down and film um, everything that I'm thinking right now, because I've been watching a bunch of those videos titled designer is dead, luxury is ending, quiet luxury trend, all of those types of videos. I'm sure you've seen them, and I'm sure I'm very late to the bandwagon, but I have taken some notes and I just wanted to sit down and discuss them with you guys because if you are like me and you're on a bit of a sustainable kind of fashion journey and you're trying to be more purposeful with your purchases, especially with the current economy right now, then I feel like this trend is right up our alley and we kind of need to get on board with it. And I'm hoping that you might be able to take away some good information from this video. So the first topic that I wanted to address and the question I keep seeing pop up is, is luxury dead? And I wanted to have my kind of opinions and thoughts on it. First of all, if that is the case, I am devastated because I kind of fell into liking designer bags or because I loved handbags, always have. I didn't really care about the brand. And then I always loved antiques. I was, I'm a bit of an antique buff. Um, I love to collect antiques. I go to antiques fairs and I purchased this book a few years ago. It's like a big textbook um, all about antiques and which ones to look out for. And I came across all of these beautiful Hermes, Chanel, Louis Vuitton handbags and it went into all the history about these designer brands. So I kind of loved handbags, love antiques, and there you go. That is like my ultimate dream hobby is to purchase vintage designer bags, give them some love, give them a new life, and style them with more modern kind of clothing. So that is like the main reason why I love luxury. It's almost like, you know when you go traveling or something and you go into like an old cathedral and you just look at it and you go, yeah, it's just an old cathedral. But then they come out and they have this big story about it and they tell you all the history about it and all the events that have taken place there. And all of a sudden it becomes meaningful and you're kind of looking every at everything with different eyes. That's exactly how I feel about vintage bags and designer bags is that when I am carrying these, I not only have a beautiful quality bag that has been um, handmade, it's also the history that comes along with it. It makes me feel a kind of way. I can't really explain it too much, but I really enjoy having these kinds of brands in my handbag collection. Now, the second thing I wanted to mention is people have also been saying that the quality is deteriorating. This is not something I have personally noticed myself because I don't buy brand new. So this is all the more reason to potentially start opting for more vintage options or secondhand options um, because again, apparently you're getting better quality anyway. And then the third reason that I really enjoy luxury is because I feel as though these brands are, they are experts in the field. They are handbag or luggage kind of brands and I feel as though I love to own things from brands that are kind of experts in that field. Um, I don't know what that is about, but to me personally, that is just something that I love. So when I hear people saying things like luxury is dead, no one's buying designer anymore, I'm really sad about that because for me, it's always been about the history of something. So to me, that never dies. So personally, I won't be getting rid of any of my luxury handbags and I love them all just as much, but it's because I'm looking at them with a different lens. I'm looking at them more of a historical kind of vintage, um, lens rather than a status symbol. So maybe if you are someone who loves all of your designer handbags and you feel as though when you're walking around you're feeling a certain way, you feel as though they're not trendy anymore, not cool anymore, maybe do a little bit of research into that brand um, and learn about the history of it and I promise you, you will start to love them again. So that is my very broad opinion on the topic. My design items are not going anywhere. If anything, I'm always looking to purchase more and add more to my collection um, and when I see new brands up and coming with really beautiful quality bags and a minimalist style, I'm still not very interested because they don't have that history and heritage that comes along with them. So yeah, I don't know. That's just kind of what tickles my fancy is the history. So that is why I will not, designer is not dead for me. Now this leads me into the next topic and why, where this kind of all stemmed from anyway. I just wanted to talk about the history first because that is 
first and foremost the most important thing to me but the second thing I wanted to talk about is the more minimal style so people are definitely opting for less branding um, people are liking a more sleek kind of aesthetic and that is just what is on trend right now which I am loving because a lot of beautiful vintage designer handbags that are very affordable don't often have a lot of branding on them so that's a tick for us and then it kind of raised the question as to why is it that people are opting for more of a minimalist style when it comes to their handbags Bags and they don't want the flashy logos and the branding because to me minimalist style and timeless style has always been in because it's timeless so it's always been around but why is it all of a sudden kind of trending and I think there's a couple of reasons the obvious ones are obvious as the state of the economy so people are it's a little more kind of insensitive to be walking around flashing your designer items and showing off that you have really expensive items especially when some people um, are just struggling to pay for their groceries each week at the moment another obvious one is that um, counterfeit items of designer brands has kind of devalued monogramming so the Louis Vuitton one which is such a shame because that in itself has so much history so the fact that monogram is becoming tacky um, is just su such a shame to me and I'm hoping that people kind of learn a little bit more about the history to kind of bring that back so they're the obvious reasons as to why I think quiet luxury is really trending at the moment and why people are opting for that kind of style but in addition to that I am wondering is it just my age bracket as well like I'm in my late 20s moving into my 30s is my algorithm and what I'm seeing on Instagram and YouTube um, catered to my kind of style and my kind of age group I don't have a lot of people within my friend group and my family that are of um, kind of in their early 20s you know late teens so is kind of luxury brands and branding really trending in their age group I have no idea so I don't know if it's an actual thing quiet luxury across the board or if it's just like an age group thing and the other question it raised and what I wanted to pose to you guys as well is is the whole quiet luxury trend more prominent right now and more than ever because we really are in that self-development kind of era or generation where we're definitely more conscious of how we make people feel um, we're also more in tune with ourselves and what sparks joy for us I know for me if I look at a bag and I think oh I want that because everyone else has it and it looks cool but then all of a sudden I have these other thoughts that come over me as to like no do I actually like that does it actually go with my style or am I just getting it to show off to other people so yeah I feel like people are being more conscious about what they wear not so much just for other people but in terms of how it makes them feel because for me personally I feel the complete opposite I don't really reach for this bag especially when I'm going to work because if I walk into the office with this slung over my shoulder I feel like everyone knows Louis Vuitton even if you're not someone who's into luxury brands and I just feel a little bit silly I feel like I put it on and I go into my nine to five and I know it's such a shame because of the beautiful history that this bag has and this brand has but for me I do kind of I just feel a little bit kind of silly and I just would much prefer wear the plain black epi, epi leather um, because I love the quality of the bag and I love the brand and the history but I don't necessarily care about if other people know about it if they look at my bag and they just see a black bag it could for all they know it could be from Kmart that is good enough for me I do not mind what they think so I hope what I'm saying is making sense I'm not actually really talking about the quiet luxury trend I'm more just trying to raise questions and have a discussion as to why is it on trend why is it that people are opting for more of a minimalist style is it also because of post-covid um, during covid people were home more they dressed more for comfort a loungewear became a huge thing is that now um, kind of seeping into our style now where we are thinking more comfort more practicality because a minimalist kind of style bag and design and sleek kind of design really does tie in well with that kind of lounge wear more casual kind of style so is it a COVID thing as well I'm really just raising questions here I, I don't have all the answers um, but I hope it gets you guys thinking so what does that mean for my current collection well I've already mentioned in my previous video that I am looking at selling this bag however I have been thinking lately do I just hold on to it because this is a piece of history so don't be fooled by the trends and fooled by what other people think do you genuinely love this and do you want a piece in your collection that has monogram because I don't have any 
um, Louis Vuitton bags with um, Monogram anymore. This is my last one. Any bags that I do um, want to add to my collection, they're definitely more minimalist and have like no branding on them. Um, the first one, I've mentioned this in my previous video, but my current wish list is the Gucci um, bamboo backpack. I am loving that. Another thing that just recently popped up, I've been seeing speedies everywhere. Everyone's buying a speedy. So I am thinking, should I purchase one, but in the epi leather? Because I know I love epi leather. I know it's super durable. The only thing is, I would love to have black epi leather, but it doesn't have a crossbody strap, like the bandolier kind of version on the vintage ones. However, I am thinking, could I potentially add a crossbody strap and add some D-rings on the side? Because I would be open to doing that if I get it at a good price. So they're the bags I'm kind of thinking of adding to my collection. So guys, that is kind of... That brought me to the end of the notes. So I hope this video, I'm not just like, I didn't just come in here and just raise all these questions and now you guys are just left hanging and you're like, so what was the point of that video? Um, yeah, this video really was just to kind of raise a discussion. I want to talk to you guys about it. I don't have the answers, but they are my thoughts, my opinions on the quiet luxury topic. Um, I love it in the way that it definitely suits my more sustainable kind of style that I'm going for. However, are designer brands dead for me? No, they're not. I still love Louis Vuitton and Gucci and Celine and brands like that. However, I'll be doing what I've always done and opt for more of the timeless kinds of styles. So I guess I just want to say to you guys, this is good news. Quiet luxury is great news for us. Um, and I would love to hear your thoughts. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, Remy just wanted to say hello. It wouldn't be one of my videos without a little feature of Remy. She's just been laying here, sleeping, taking it all in. Um, personally, she's a little bit devastated about the whole um, less flashy, less monogram thing. Because you love it, don't you? You look so good. Look at that. Little match made in heaven. So anyway, guys, I will chat to you in my next video. I hope you have a lovely week. I'm not sure when my next upload will be, but yeah, I'll see you then anyway. Bye. Mm -hmm.